What's up guys, it's Malloy Gunter from GunterOutdoors.com. Just wanted to go over a couple tips for you today for beginner bow hunters. The items that you'll need and the accessories that you'll need. Also, help you save some money in the process. So, obviously the first thing that you're going to need is the bow. It's a compound bow to get you started. So, you know, for me, I bought something that was relatively inexpensive, but I did a fair amount of research and made sure that I got a quality product. So this is a bear rant. In general, bear and compound bows, you really can't go wrong. They have a lot of affordable bows and they're great quality. So, you know, I have no complaints about this bow for myself. I actually killed my first deer with a bow with this bow. I had to make a couple of needed improvements to this bow by replacing the peep sight, uh, the D-loop, and the strings. But I've also, you know, had it for about a year and a half now, so that's to be expected. After you purchase your bow, the next thing that you're going to want to do is identify your draw length and your draw weight. It's very important when you get down to your fundamentals and you're ready to start shooting. So there's a lot that goes into that but you can find out exactly how to do both of those things by going to my website, gunteroutdoors.com, and it will detail exactly how to do both of those tasks. I'll also leave a link in the description below to help you access that. But the first thing is go ahead and get a quality bow. After you do that, you're going to need a couple of things to help you get started. Obviously, you're going to need arrows. You can't shoot a bow without arrows. So, one thing I'll say is I made the mistake originally of not having too much knowledge, I guess initially, about what type of arrow I should be shooting and also trying to save a lot of money by purchasing really cheap arrows. I have one of those here. Uh, it's a mossy oak bone collector. And, you know, for one, this arrow is too long for my bow. But also, the spine is incorrect for my bow as well. Um, so there's a couple different components to this arrow that were wrong for my bow. It led to inaccuracy. I lost a lot of arrows because of it and ultimately it just cost me more money in the long run. So, you know, it, it may have saved me money initially, but it, ultimately it wasn't worth it. I went to my neighborhood Bowtech and I picked up these Easton Carbon Defender arrows. Now, this arrow is sized correctly for my bow and this arrow is actually the same arrow that I shot my first deer with. So, yes, you know, it cost me probably $5 more per arrow for this arrow compared to this one, but ultimately, it's helping me shoot more accurately, therefore I'm not losing as many arrows, so in the end, it's saving me money. So, you wanna make sure you get the right arrow. A uh, couple different ways you can do that. Like I said, I went to my local bow shop and they helped me. They made sure that my draw length, draw weight was where it needed to be, it was. And then they helped me size my arrow. So I have a link to my website as well for arrow sizing that you can check out if you want to. Um, but your local bow shop can help you with that as well. Um, and I always recommend as soon as you purchase a bow, go ahead and take your bow all the accessories that you have to your local bow shop as long as they're professionals they're going to be able to help you so make sure you select the right arrow the next thing that you want to make sure you have that is correct for your fitment and your body is a wrist release all right you want a quality wrist release it doesn't again doesn't have to be anything that's extravagant or you know overly expensive, it's not necessary. There's plenty of great releases on the market today for under $40. Um, you know, this one I got, it's a True Fire Smoke. It does very well. I think I picked it up on Amazon, $37, something like that. 
and it's lasted me for almost two years now. So it has done terrific. It's very smooth, it's fast, and it's accurate. Uh, no complaints. They do manufacture plenty of wrist releases and thumb releases that are much more expensive. And you can choose to take any one of those. They may increase your accuracy, but they are gonna cost a little bit more money. So you just wanna make sure that you're spending enough to get a quality product. And in order to do that, really you can stay around $30 to do so. So the next thing that you're going to need would be a target. As you can see here, this is the Block 6x6. So this was actually one of the more expensive targets that I found when I went into the bow shop. So you can save money on a target, you really can. I've got plenty of options on my website that can help you do that. But this is the best target for the money. I can tell you right now, I have shot, I don't even know, a thousand arrows at this target and I am still shooting at it today. It stops everything from field points to broadheads. Anything you shoot at it, it's gonna stop, it's gonna hold up, and it's gonna hold up for a considerable amount of time. Wanna go over a couple of more tips here real quick, just to help you out as you're going through the purchase process of these things, sighting in your bow, if you get the Fitment basics down as far as your length and weight, your sight and peep, which kind of correlate together as you're identifying those aspects. The next thing you're going to do is obviously practice shooting. So you'll have your arrows, you know, you'll have your wrist release, your bow obviously, and your target. But the next thing that I would caution you to do is identify specific markers make sure you're as accurate as possible with your yardage markers so for me i have a four pin sight on that bow and i have identified 10 20 30 and 40 yards with a tape measure to make sure it is as precise as possible it just helps you so much more when you're out in the woods it gives you so much more confidence that you're going to be able to shoot that deer kill that deer humanely um, and just be effective overall. So, you know, like I said, I'm gonna put a link below to my website, gunteroutdoors.com. It's gonna have a link for targets, cheap, inexpensive targets, but also high quality targets. How to identify what arrow for your bow. And also, we're gonna have four bows that are under $400, all of them great quality, all of them fairly inexpensive. So, hope y'all enjoy. Thanks so much for listening.